Yo, what's happening guys? You're watching PSD2 Responsive Website Lesson 10 and in this video we're going to dive right in to do some mobile styles. Alright then guys, so this is looking pretty good at the minute. We've got our basic desktop styles which look like this and then we've got some breakpoints for tablets uh, which are at 960 pixels right there so it goes like this and it's all nice and spacious and then again about 7, 6, 8 pixels uh, round about here and uh, there we go and this is for smaller tablets so it's all looking pretty spacious but when we get a bit smaller you'll notice things start to look a little squashed round about 480 pixels thereabouts uh, this is starting to look squashed up here uh, these are a little bit squashed not so bad these are fine but uh, down here it's all squashed as well so we're going to do another break point which is going to capture everything below about 480 pixels for mobiles and that kind of thing so let's come to the bottom of the styles and do our media query at media screen and to attach a filter and then the filter is going to be max width 480 pixels okay so we'll put all of our styles for mobiles in here so the first thing I want to do is grab these things right here and make them one in a row so it's one after the other going down so to do that I'll grab the selling points div and then the LIs within those because are within that because each one of those is an LI and then we'll make the width of those 80% and then what I'm going to do to centralize them because they're a bit off to the left at the minute is just give them a padding of zero top and bottom then 10% left and right and that's going to centralize them and bring them away from the edges a little bit I also want to give them a margin of 20 pixels top and bottom and zero left and right okay then so that looks pretty cool. Uh, next thing I want to do is come down here and just make these a little bit bigger so they're taking up more room on the screen. So to do that I'll get the latest work ID and then the LI tags within that because these again are LI tags within that div. And uh, what I'll do is pretty much the same here. I'm going to give them a width of 80%. Then I'm going to give them a we'll give them a padding, oh no, we'll give them a margin this time of around 30 pixels top and bottom and then we'll give it 10% left and right. Now that's not doing anything, that's because there's a previous rule overriding certain things here. We've got an important going on somewhere up there, there it is. So we need to override that again. I'm just gonna put important again and that's gonna bring them into the center, make them 80% in width. So that looks pretty cool now. Uh, next thing I wanna do is come down to this quote right here and uh, put a little hash in front of that, there we go, to grab that ID and then what I want to do is make this a little bit smaller in font size so I'll say font size 16 pixels instead of 18 then I will still make it bold, font weight bold so it sticks out a little bit, that's absolutely fine uh, then we need to sort these things out right here so we need to grab the ULs, currently I think they're 25, not 25%, 50% uh, in width Let's have a look, yeah, okay, so we need to double that up to make them full width. So what I'll do is grab the footer ULs and then I'll make those width 100% like that, okay. And I think I'll take away the floats because we don't need those anymore. And um, what I'll do is give them a border just to separate them, border top of about two pixels make it solid and about 333 three, which is a uh, kind of light gray and that kind of separates those all right so now that's looking a bit better so I think what we'll do now is focus on this mobile menu but what I'll do is I'll leave that till the next lesson because I'm going to make a whole lesson about uh, the JavaScript that we need to do and uh, the little icon and whatnot so I'll leave it here for now this is okay for mobiles except for this navigation right here which we're going to look at in the next lesson I think this is okay for mobile styles now and as we get smaller it's still going to look pretty neat and spacious okay so we'll tackle this in the next lesson if you have any uh, questions about this one feel free to drop a comment down below otherwise guys I'll see you in the next one don't forget to share subscribe blah 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 I'll see you guys in the next one